Hello everyone, the festive season is upon us and to celebrate and get into the spirit of things I thought I'd create this tutorial for you. I hope you enjoy. So for this look I want really juicy and moisturized skin so I'm going to go in with the Weleda Skin Food and I'm just going to apply this product to the high points of my face. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Marble. And as per usual, I'm going to start in the center of the face and blend the product outwards. So I'm going to take the foundation across my eyelids as well and I'm going to use that as my eye primer. I'm not going to carry on with concealing just yet, but I'm going to set the foundation on my eyelids using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in number one. I'm just going to go in and define the crease of my eye and bring it into that V in the corner. And I'm going to be using this meet matte nude palette by the balm i'm going to mix these two together i want like a soft grayish tone look down into the mirror and just define the crease i'm slowly starting to take it a little bit higher and sort of it's not winged out but you're just blending it out towards the brow. Now I'm going to start taking it into the corner and just join the two. Next up I'm going to go in with matte wood to define the lash line. So I don't want a very harsh line, I want it to be slightly smoked out but with enough definition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the inner corner and work my way outwards and sort of thicken the line towards that V that we just created. Okay, so now I'm gonna start taking that color and I'm gonna work it into the V shape that we created earlier, just to define that outer corner a little bit more. I'm not gonna take it all the way to the inner corner. So I'm starting with the eyeliner and then I'm slowly just taking it up into the V because you don't want a very defined line going into the crease. Okay, so now for some sparkle, I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona Holiday Palette Joya and I'm using the color Peach Gold. I'm just going to press it onto the eyelid because I don't want any fallout at this stage. So for some extra shine, I'm going to go in with the Stila Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten Karma. And this just has the most beautiful glittery shimmer. And I'm just going to place it right in the center of the lid. And that just gives you a little bit of extra sparkle. So for mascara, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes in Extra Black. Okay, so now that I'm done with both eyes, I'm gonna go in with some false lashes. These are by Salon Perfect and they are number 21. I'm not gonna to do too much to the brows today. I'm just gonna brush through with my Brow Artist Plumper by L'Oreal. It's 
For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Instant Anti-Age Eraser by Maybelline, and I'm using the color Sand. Because this foundation is already so pigmented, I'm just adding a little bit more to brighten underneath the eyes and perhaps around the nose. For blush, I'm gonna go in with this Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Storm. I think this is the absolute perfect blush color. So this is looking quite excessive and maybe a little bit patchy, but this is the great part. You can just go back in with your foundation brush and just skim the edges. So for my highlight, I'm gonna go in with the RMS Eye Polish in Luna. This is obviously meant for your eyes, but I just find that it makes the most perfect highlighter. So I'm just gonna see where the light naturally catches the high points of the face, and I'm just gonna enhance it a little bit more. And you don't want to press too hard because you don't want to disturb anything that you've already done. So to knock back any unwanted shine, I'm just going to go back in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. And I'm just going to sweep it along the areas that I don't really need extra shine. So around the nose. Maybe down here. And just a little bit underneath the eyes. I don't like to use too much powder underneath the eyes because I find that it sort of enhances fine lines. But this Charlotte Tilbury powder, this one you can layer. It's like your skin soaks it up. It goes slightly more matte, but it still looks very, very hydrated. So for lips, I'm gonna be mixing two L'Oreal Matte Lipsticks together, and they are Matte and Love and Matte Traction Red. So before I carry on and intensify this color, I just wanna take a fluffy brush and just diffuse the edges and then I'm gonna build from there. Buffing out the edges with a small brush is a really easy technique to sort of cheat your lip shape and overline it in a sense, but it doesn't look so obvious. And now that I've done that, I can go back in and intensify the color. And that's the finished look. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope everyone has a beautiful festive season. Cheers.